friends welcome back to channel sai tech guru in this video i'm going to compare the touch sampling rate comparison between the realme x1 max versus poco x3 pro device the main reason why i'm comparing these both phones because during the big billion day sales this phone both phones will be having really very huge discounts and a lot of users they want to know which phone is a really best phone so that's why i started to do this kind of comparison series so make sure to stay tuned for more comparisons but in this video let's focus on the one of the most important thing which is touch sampling rate so for the gamers this is the most important thing which phone has got what type of touch sampling rate so that's what i'm going to ex explain by default the realme x1 max has got the touch sampling rate of close to 360 hertz but by default what we get is different and the poco x3 pro has got 240 hertz and let's see the what is the default touch sampling rate so that's what i'm going to compare side by side so you can have clear idea what is going on between this both phones so first here is a realme x1 max device this is a realme x1 max and uh, right now i'm doing this application which to test this kind of touch uh, sampling rate application as you can see right now you can see the clearly the number which shows about close to 360 and somewhere around that as you can see 350 360 we are getting sometimes as you can see clearly so overall we are getting the 240 hertz touch sampling rate because you need to do whatever the value you get here minus the refresh rate what i am trying to use so at the moment i am trying to use a 120 hertz refresh rate so i am getting exactly 240 hertz touch sampling rate in the realme x1 max and always you need to do the minus thing so you always the, let me just show you the poco x3 pro this is a poco x3 pro and in the poco x3 pro we are getting exact 360 as well as you can see same application we are getting 360 in the poco x3 pro so the poco x3 pro has got the 240 hertz touch sampling rate as well which is kind of really accurate because whatever the value we are getting we need to do the minus with the 120 hertz refresh rate the refresh rate of the phone always so we are getting 240 hertz so final thing is that the what are the company saying the poco f3 x3 uh, pro we are getting exactly 240 hertz touch sampling rate in the poco x3 pro in the realme x1 max the company says 360 hertz but we are getting 240 hertz by default out of the box this is a complete reality what is happening between these both phones so this is another application which we use to test the number of touch inputs which phone can detect what kind of uh, amount touch inputs let me to write down slowly i'm trying to draw the line slowly i'm trying to increase the speed little by little as you can see both phones are having same kind of touch sampling rate nothing much difference i can see at this point in terms of the speed rate i'm trying to clear the screen and doing with the full speed let me do, do with the full speed As you can see friends, so both are having exactly same kind of touch sampling rate at this moment and that, that is the reason why we are seeing similar kind of touch inputs are detecting in the both phones. So in terms of the touch sampling rate, there is nothing much difference happening between the both phones and both phones they do have the higher refresh rate 120 hertz but Super AMOLED IPS LCD that's the kind of difference between these both devices. So thank you for watching this video and in case if you have any other queries on this both phone let me know in the comment section below definitely I'll be able to do those kind of videos as soon as possible for you all. See you in the next video and then stay tuned meanwhile signing off. Bye.